Episode 47 and a half. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! It's the Christmas season. All right, sit back, relax. The 10 Minute Off Road Podcast is about to begin. Hello, and welcome to the 10 Minute Off Road Podcast. I'm your host, Nikki G. I'm here to inform, delight, and titillate you. Yeah, I said it about all things off-road for the next 10 minutes or so. Why 10 minutes? Because let's, it's getting close to my bedtime. All right, welcome to the show. Hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. Uh, we were going to eat alligator at our house, but uh, we couldn't cook it. All we could find to cook it in was a crock pot. Yeah, it can only get better from here, guys. Before we get started, I want to remind everybody that you can catch the 10 Minute Off Road podcast on whatever you're listening to it now. You know how to do it. You don't have to tell me, but uh, Anchor is the fine host of this show. So you can catch it on anything that Anchor dominates. Uh, I think they own Spotify and they post it on a bunch of other little things that I can't remember what they are. I got it written down somewhere. I should have it memorized by now, but I don't. But you're listening to the show thank you i appreciate it keep on doing it keep listening on whatever forum that you're listening to listening it little listening to it on you can catch the show very sporadically on uh, all the social media outlets such as instagram facebook the twitter and youtube and as always never on tiktok if you want to contact the show, you could leave a comment on our wonderful YouTube videos and or through uh, Facebook Messenger or Instagram and on Twitter. And, and again, never on TikTok. Or you can email the show at 10 minute off road at gmail.com. That's one zero off road, all one word because I don't know how to spell, at gmail.com. All right, so now that we have all that nastiness, pleasantries, whatever you want to call them, out of the way, uh, Thanksgiving is just past. The Christmas shopping season has begun. And so I wanted to do a uh, Christmas shopping list, so to speak, for the off-roader in your life. And I wanted to do it early because last year I did it, and some of the episodes aired after Christmas. So I want to do it early in case the two people listening to this Decide to buy a gift for their Jeeper. And if you're a Jeeper, uh, leave subtle hints for the people in your life so they know what you want and what to get you. Uh, always, I usually make a Amazon shopping list that says Nick's Christmas list. And I just point out to, I just send a text message to my family that says, hey, I made my Christmas list. And usually somebody grabs, orders something off of it and it makes it, Makes it easier for them, and it's stuff I was going to buy anyhow, so it kind of saves me money. But moving along, I made a list of gift ideas for the off-roader in your life, and I've got them from dirt cheap to very expensive, or I won't say very expensive, but in the $150, $200 range as expensive. And the dirt cheap ones are pretty much dirt cheap or free. So on my cheap list, I have stickers. I think it was last year or the year before, my daughter took a picture of my Jeep and sent it to somebody on Etsy, and they made a sticker of my Jeep, of the silhouette of my Jeep. She made me two of them. One I have saved for a very special occasion. I don't know what. I'll probably use it for her wedding. And the other sticker I have on a, uh, on a mug, a travel mug, the silhouette of my Jeep, and it's it's very special. I don't I don't use that mug often. I don't run it through the dishwashers. I want the sticker to to stay on it, and I enjoyed it. And I know she didn't have a lot of money, so I know it was dirt cheap. And if you're listening, thanks, Jennifer. I I appreciate the sticker. So yeah, contact the fine folks on Etsy. They're regular schmoes like you and me. And all right, another cheap idea is uh. Make a fresh first aid kit. I think in episode 34 or 35, I talked about the minimal gear to carry on your rig. And first aid kit was in there, so give that a listen to. 
and uh, make a uh, first aid kit. Next cheap thing is a compass. You know, just like the Boy Scouts use uh, a military style compass or, uh, oh my gosh, what's the one they taught us how to use in Boy Scouts? I can't remember. I, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a just a, a, a compass, a, something that you could plot a course with. If it doesn't have a move uh, rotating bezel on it, one with a rotating bezel is preferably so you could plot a course. But if not, anything that can help you. I always keep a compass in my Jeep in case I have to walk out. It comes in handy along with a paper map. Which brings me to the next item, a gazetter. A gazetter is like a atlas, but it has the Forest Service roads on it. And they're state specific. I got one for North Carolina. I need to get one for South Carolina and Georgia, which seems to be where my travels are taking me. And Tennessee probably wouldn't be a bad one. They run about 20 bucks each. Uh, get one or two of the states that your uh, off-roader travels in mostly, and they would greatly appreciate it. With that, what a compass will help you get out of trouble. Although I did get lost last week when I went riding, and uh, the gazetter and the compass didn't even didn't even come across my mind to pull out. But then driving... Driving lost is sometimes a lot of fun. It can be bad, but it worked out. Chemicals is a good thing to, to get. When I say chemicals, I mean a PB blaster, which off-roaders use a lot. It's a WD-40 on steroids. But if you don't know what PB blaster is, just get uh, some WD-40. We appreciate it. Brake clean. And these can be found on the chemical section of the automotive department in Walmart. Brake clean is something we use quite a bit when we're working on our vehicles. It's, it's a great degreaser. Zip ties. We use zip ties a lot, and we could always use some more, and we'd appreciate it if you got us some for Christmas, a little stocking stuffer. And that's the stuff that's uh, fairly inexpensive, and there's a tons of other stuff that you, could, that you can get. Uh, clothing, socks, hats, anything with uh, the brand of vehicles that we have, we'd appreciate I'm moving on to stuff that's a little bit more expensive, like in the $30 to $50 range. A half-inch soft shackle. They're about $30 a pair. Uh, if you don't know what a shackle is, it's what we use to attach our winch line to our Jeep or to whatever we're attaching the other end of the winch line to. And that is synthetic lines are a big thing. Uh, soft shackles, which is made from a synthetic line, comes in handy. It, it's a lot easier to use than a uh, than a hard shackle, and it doesn't scratch up your rig and your bumper. And if your off roader has a synthetic winch line, and you can tell the difference between synthetic winch, you can tell the difference between synthetic winch line and regular steel cable. Is look under Jeep. If it's a big metal cable, that's a steel cable. Uh, if it looks like a rope, then it's a synthetic winch line. Another good thing to get is a, a snatch block or a snatch ring. You might have to go outside and look at their rig, but if they have a steel metal cable on their winch line, then you need a snatch block, which is basically a pulley. So when you uh, you have your Jeep facing in one direction and have the winch line around a pulley going in another direction. If they have a synthetic line, which looks like a rope, then you can't use a snatch block. You need what's called a snatch ring rechargeable flashlights. We, I don't know what it is about guys, but we have a fetish with flashlights. Not that kind of flashlight. This is a G-rated show. We can't talk about stuff like that. But rechargeable flashlights and rechargeable headbands. It's the lights we put on our forehead that make us look like a minion. We use those, or I use those quite a bit, and I think other people would use them too. A short-handled D-ring shovel, like a little short garden shovel. The one I have on my rig, I bought at uh, Northern Tool for six bucks quite a few years ago. I think they're up to about twelve dollars now. But they have shovels from dirt cheap, a couple of dollars, all the way up to eighty dollars for the uh, Angry Beaver shovels. Uh, you don't really need the eighty dollar shovels. To me, it's a status symbol. My $6 shovel works just as well as the $80 shovel. But uh, get them a shovel. They'll, they'll appreciate it. And now for the folding military-style shovels. 
All those do is make me very angry. I cannot use one for the life of me. They're almost worthless to me. Other people carry them and have good luck with them. Me, nah, I don't, I don't care for them. I prefer a shovel that in one piece, a three or four inch toe strap that comes in handy. They're about 30, 40 bucks. Now you can get a 30 foot one or a 20 foot one. I wouldn't get anything less than 20 foot. Road flares. Now they make road flares that are LED lights. You don't have to have the, the flammable road flares anymore. And it, it comes in handy because, as you know, off-road vehicles break down on the side of road quite a bit. At least mine does. And some uh, flares come in handy. A winch line damper. If you don't know what a winch line damper is, when a steel cable winch line breaks, it's uh, pretty dangerous. It could whiplash around and uh, hurt people. So we always put uh, something heavy over it, like a blanket or for a lot of times we run our coolers through it. Anything that helps uh, absorb the energy when the winch line breaks, the anything heavy over the line will help drag it to gravity. Gravity will help drag it down to the ground, thus uh, reducing the chance of it taking off somebody's head. But they make a bag, which is like a heavy vinyl, and you can fill it with sand, water, or I think some of them are even just got lead in it or something that makes it heavy. All right, now moving on to the expensive stuff. A portable power station. It's like a big rechargeable battery that has uh, outlets in it that we can plug stuff into. They come in handy quite a bit, especially when you're out camping. A kinetic rope or a bubba rope. A good brand is the Grip 20-foot kinetic rope. What it is, it's, a, it's like a toe strap, but it kind of stretches. So when you're stuck... And when it stretches, it stores kinetic energy and it helps pull the vehicle out. I got stuck one time and the person in front of me put on a, it was a Bubba Rope brand and it snatched me right out. It, it was amazing. But that's something that's, you know, a, a little bit pricey that, that we would love to have that we might not buy for ourselves. A hundred foot of winch line. This might require some uh, investigation and homework to find out what kind of winch line we have or want. Uh, I have a steel winch line. I might go to synthetic someday. Uh, my big fear of synthetic line is that it's not UV resistant. And I really don't have a lot of room on the front of my grill to put a winch line with a cover. I think it'll block too much of my radiator. I, I usually have a problem overheating as it is. But someday I might go to synthetic line, but if I don't, a 100 foot of uh, steel winch line is what I'd appreciate somebody getting me. Fire extinguisher. Always use more fire extinguishers, especially since a lot of the fire extinguishers we have are disposable. I say you can recharge them, but they cost more to recharge them than they're worth. A Mac trail vice. These things are awesome. It's a vice. It's kind of low profile, so it doesn't look like a big vice, like a hardware vice, but it's on a receiver hitch, so you just slide it into your hitch when you need to use a uh, a vice. How often do you get to use your vi a vice on the trail? Very rarely, but when you bend a tie rod or a track bar, you bend something, and you need a vice to hold it, to straighten it back out, it's a good thing to have. Now, you could use other things. You could always... You could always find something to use, but a vice is always a vice is a good idea, especially for the person that has everything. Get them a trail vice; they'll they'll appreciate it. All right, so that's about all the time I have for tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, this is Nikki G saying, "Wheel what you got and be happy."